The eyes of the football world are focused on Qatar, and so is its history. The world of football is a special six-month exhibition, featuring balls and jerseys from the 19th century all the way through to the present day. We have six galleries and one activation uh, uh, zone for the kids and to discover the talent. It is a unique, but the galleries itself, today we are showcasing more than 1,210 objects. And b believe it or not, we have a, a bowl from 1888. We have Muhammad Ali's gloves when he retained his title in 1978 against uh, George Foreman in Kinshasa, Zaire. There are several artefacts connecting the past to the present. This was the first trophy awarded to the winner of the World Cup tournament back in 1930. And this the trophy we have come to know so well in more modern times. There's more than a century's worth of football memorabilia on display here. And of course, everybody will have their own personal favorite. But perhaps the highlight is this, the very jersey worn by Diego Maradona in 1986 when he scored the infamous Hand of God goal against England. There are also miniature models of each of the World Cup host stadiums and a special tribute to host nation Qatar, the first Middle Eastern country to host the competition. The people that they will arrive, they will, uh, the minute that they, the, 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 the airplane touch down, you know, in Doha, until they leave back, they will have an enjoyable stay in Qatar. Uh, they will uh, taste the hospitality of Qatar. The World of Football exhibition is part of the wider 321 Qatar Olympic and Sports Museum. But no doubt in 2022, this is the center of attraction at the venue. Peter Stemmett, Al Jazeera, Doha.